What is up, you guys? It's RJ. We are back with TXT. I am fresh off the MV. It looks like people uploaded the uh, lyric videos pretty quickly. Now, I'm not going to, I'm taking these lyric videos with a grain of salt. This is very fast translation. It's literally been like an hour um, since the MV came out. So while the lyrics are gonna be nice, it is mainly about the music for me, at least right now, until proper translation has shown up. Um, but yeah, that music video, wow. Something else. Hyunyin Kai. If looks could kill, I, I, we would all be six feet under. I don't know what's gotten into that man, but something something's going on. It's sugar rush, apparently. But let's get into these B-sides. I am very excited to check out the rest of this, so let's do it. Okie doke, our very first song is going to be Devil by the Window. Let's go. Me too. This bridge is gorgeous. Is that the end? Wow. What a what? What is this album? You know, after the surprise that was Sugar Rush Ride, this song is they're very similar in the fact that I I don't know where it's gonna go, and that's very fun for me. I love songs that are not so predictable. I that ending I thought was the bridge. It's not. That was the ending of the song. But so cool how they like completely slowed it down. It was so beautiful, so melodic. The, the way they were singing on that beat was like, wow, uh, I love that B-side. That was great. Also that chorus really slapped when it comes in like that. I was trying to figure out what part I remembered 
or what part I heard from the preview and the chorus was it, definitely. The song was all in English as well. That was surprising. I, I did not know that that was gonna be the case, so that was cool, um, which makes it easier to interpret. Uh, I was able to read what was happening uh, with the lyrics and everything. This was giving me like angel on my shoulder, uh, devil in my hand kind of vibe. Um, like which one do you go with, do you choose? But the album is called Temptation, so it makes complete sense, you know? Oh, she's pretty. I didn't know this was a she. Koi Lee Ray. This is my first time hearing of her. All right, so we're on to Happy Fools, uh, featuring Koi Lee Ray. I think that's how you say her name, but let's go. This is like, sounds like The Sims. Like I'm about to build a house. I enjoyed her on the song. Song is super catchy. Grr, what? Two minutes and 35 seconds, TXT. You could have given me a bridge and then an outro of this song. Come on now. I mean, especially if you're gonna have the feature, because she takes up one part of the chorus. Come on, that's okay though. I mean, the song was still good. The song was still catchy. Um, I definitely enjoyed her. I like her voice a lot on this track. Um, she blends pretty well with their voices too. So it wasn't, it didn't feel like a feature that didn't need to be there. The featured artist is definitely supposed to enhance the song. The song should already stand alone good by itself. So if you were to take her out, would the song still be good? I think yes. And adding her into it um, definitely gives it a nice little flavor with her, the female voice, um, mixed in with these wonderful guys. The song was cool, very catchy, very catchy hook. A little too short for me though. I, I do wish they had actually added a bridge and like a final chorus or something like that. It did just kind of stop. And I was like, just getting into it, you know? But uh, I still enjoyed the song a lot. I feel like one thing I can always count on TXT to give me is really good music, really good beats, just really fun. Like this, this so far, is a 10 out of 10 for me with like the sound so i'm very excited to see where the rest of this is going to go we got two more songs left this is tinnitus tinnitus we'll go with that let's go <laughs> subin's picture is very cute <laughs> I'm 
TXT, come on now, is it actually over? What the hell? Why are these songs so short though? Why? I gotta say, as much as I'm enjoying the songs and the album and things, why don't like, I feel like everyone's making like a two minute song these days. Like whatever happened to like a three minute and 30 seconds to four minute song, like give us like the, give us the meat, you know? Like, I get it that like the song, the shorter song is like, I guess it's for streaming purposes or something like that. But I mean, at what cost, you know, like, I'm gonna replay it again. Not right now, I'm talking, I'm talking in general. Like it's gonna, it's gonna make me replay it because it's so short. And I guess maybe that's the goal, but I, it's still, it's still, it's one thing to make a song and it feel like a full song and it end up being like like barely three minutes long but if the song is short and it feels short and it feels like it should be longer and it's missing stuff i don't feel like that is what the aim is you know what i mean rant aside i still like the song i think this vibe is very like kind of tropical like i kind of felt like i was on an island you know listening to the song even though i don't feel like the song is necessarily happy it still gave me some dance vibes it's like one of those songs where like the mood of the song like the melody feels a bit more upbeat than the actual lyrics are those are always interesting songs to dissect i'll definitely have to go back and read the lyrics of each of these songs like like clearly you know and pay closer attention to them like i said i'm not really paying close enough attention to the lyrics here because this was translated so quickly i don't know if this is necessarily accurate so it's a little weird to make like you know a summation about the song based on what i'm reading here um but it nice it does give like a nice little general idea but yeah so far so good okay our last song is farewell neverland let's go Never 
appetite is full of lies. 외면하고 싶었어 난. Oh oh. 내 마지막 피난처 아리사 Atlas flight in HTN is true. Never in my love 이제 안녕 and I'm free falling. 별들한 모두 피처럼 to a be. Gorgeous. Wow, look at you. I enjoyed the ending of that. That was nice. Yay! Nice way to wrap it up. <laughs> that was a nice little chill song. Way to take us out. I almost felt like the ending to a play. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There was something very story like storybook about it. And I think that probably could have been maybe the references to like Peter Pan and Neverland in the song, obviously. But I do remember they were mentioning that this album is telling a story. And I'm very curious about what the story actually is, which is why I say I am very curious to go back and actually read the lyrics or the translation or theory videos or something to better understand, um, especially with the with Sugar Rush Ride being mixed in there um, with what's happening in the music video, because uh, my interpretation, I'm sure, is completely off. I have no clue what's actually going on as of right now. Um, so it'd be cool to know how everything is supposed to go, is supposed to go from top to bottom on this album. But this was so good. Every song was very, very well done. My main gripe, obviously, like I was saying, is that the, a couple of the songs definitely could have used an extra bridge, chorus, whatever, just to make the song feel full. Um, a couple of them did feel a little too short for my personal liking, uh, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm definitely going to be replaying these songs a lot um so yeah this was a a great great mini album i loved it definitely leave your comments and thoughts below about what you guys thought about this album what you thought about sugar rush ride what you thought about the b-sides what your favorite b-sides were i'm very curious to know what you guys think and even some theories if you have any ideas about what this album is supposed to mean um from top to bottom and whatnot um i think that'll be really fun to toss ideas around and see what everyone's thinking. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.